All right, I'll make the joke. Daniel is back at it again with Bird Keeper Toby's Wants to Battle Tag, 2022 edition. We're going to answer the questions Mr. Toby set up for this year's tag. And at the end, it would be nice to look back at last year's tag and see how things have changed. Because boy, my opinions have changed this last year. So let's get started with this year's tag. And yeah, I'm changing how my avatar looks once again. On my last tag, I changed the outfit my avatar wears. I did that for symmetry. And this year, I made whole new drawings and backgrounds inspired by the mystery dungeon expressions. I sparingly shut off these backgrounds, but it's not until now they get the full force of my new expressions. I guess we'll see next year if this becomes a thing with me. All right, let's do this. So let's hear the first prompt. What is your favorite Pokemon of Scarlet and Violet? So the funny thing about that, I haven't played Gen 9 yet. My brother and I wait for Christmas for new Pokemon games. However, I have seen the Pokemon. I like to build my team ahead of time, and so I'd say kill a watch roll, with Psychozar being a close second. I'm a big fan of Electric Flying, but it's pretty rare in Pokemon. So now with being on Kill Watch Roll, a non-legendary with good stats, I look forward to using it. I also want to use Cyclozar. It's a cool lizard with a unique move, which I always appreciate. Prompt 2. Why did you choose your username? So in case you didn't know the lore of my channel, probably because you're a sane individual, my username started with my Instagram. Back in high school, my friends and I were nearing graduation. My friends peer pressured me into making an Instagram account, and so I didn't really put much thought into my username. I mean, it's a Danny boy sounded good enough, so I also used it for YouTube. I have thought of changing it, so maybe someday, but not today, and I'll let you know ahead of time. Prompt 3. What is the best video you made this year? Honestly, I think any of my videos between June and now can claim that spot, but if I had to pick one, it would be my last upload. My 14 minute animation telling the story of my first ever Nuzlocke. It was a pleasure to make all the drawings that went into that video, and I love the front like inspired by art I made. This might seem lame to say, but when I made that cred sequence, I got a little emotional. You sure are the goodest of good girls, jogger. Prompt 4. What are you expecting from 2023? Honestly, I have plans for a lot of videos I'm excited to make. After learning how to make pixel art, I fully intend to become better at it for both Fakemon and Nuzlocke content, both of which you can expect from me in 2023. Aside from that, I also want to make more animations, discussion videos, and explanation videos on topics I am passionate about. Plus, I want to add drawings into my videos more, kind of like how I did in November. There's also Redo June, a thing I did where I redid old videos, and I do plan on doing that again. Prompt 5. Any big milestones you're looking forward to? Well, yes, actually. I am hoping that that next year may finally be the year I reach 1,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me reach that goal and feed my non-existent kids, then make sure the red subscribe button becomes a fancy gray subscribe button. Also, did you know, if you have a high-performing video, YouTube can still put ads on them, even if you aren't in the partner program. That's right, YouTube. Don't think I haven't noticed. So if you want to help me out and make sure I'm not taking advantage of, then do a brother a favor, hit that subscribe button. Prompt 6. Recommend a channel with less subscribers. Alright, so just like last year, I'm kind Kinda of the little guy here, and I'm not familiar with anyone smaller than me. So instead, I'll shout the two people who taught me pixel art, Subtitube and Umbreon and Libris. They are amazing people. Umbreon and Libris is great at NASA's videos, analyzing the evolution of the Pokemon art style and the different opinions Poke fans have. And by watching Subtitube, you'll learn what makes a design and concept feel like Pokemon. A must to watch for anyone interested in the design process of Pokemon. Like I said, they are amazing. My new channel mascot plushie would not lose this go without their help. And finally, Prompt 7. Tag three people. First up is is Easy Doodles, an anime or Nuzlocker who I started watching this year. If you like the Nuzlocke animation I made, then her content is right up your alley. But she doesn't just do Nuzlocks. There's other Pokemon challenges, casual runs, and general art projects. Plus, while watching her content, I noticed we have similar experiences. We've both gotten Poke Rust more than once, played Pokemon White for the first time in January 2022, and got Poke Rust in the Pokemon White playthrough. Next is JC Broken Light. That's right. JC of the Broken Light variety. I don't animate for free. Okay, well, I actually do. But still, to repay me for that animation, you must now participate in Bird Caper Toby's Wants to Battle tag. You know if you want, that is. I'm not your boss. Anyways, yeah, she is very fun. Go watch her. And right, I need to tag a third person. I don't know anyone else. So, Umbreon Libris, I hereby upgrade you from a shout out to a tag. And with that, we have fully covered this year's Wants to Battle tag. But to truly Truly end this video, how about we look back at last year's tag and see how things have changed. Do I have a channel mascot? Well, Sheriff the Binet is a prominent figure on the channel, but if you look at the new channel banner, which should be up by now, you see that we have Sheriff and other channel mascots. We got MQ the Mimikyu. Since a Mimikyu video is my first ever video, Sheriff the Binet, as previously mentioned, Plushiant, the fake mana made with some help, 
Frostlass, who quickly became one of my favorites, and who kidnapped me earlier, Lopany, who has a name, but I won't reveal it just yet, since that will be revealed next year. Of course there's Ninetales. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd say that. And last, but certainly not least, we have Jogger, my adorable baby girl. Best video of 2021 or the video I was excited about in 2022? Well, I still agree that my Bayonet video is my best video of 2021, that's still not saying much. And I can't believe I thought my first Nuzlocke video was worth teasing. I hate that video so much, you guys. You have no idea. Maybe I'll remake it someday. Would I rather have a BDS Pizza, Hard Gold, so Silver, or Legends Kiram? Oh boy, I'm not excited about this one. Last year, I said Kiram. I really am a sucker for Pokemon lore, but I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. Will I have mixed feelings about BDSP? Extremely mixed. I was so bored with Legends Arceus. I'm sorry, I'll explain my feelings next year, but yeah. I would now prefer BDSP style Hard Gold Soul Silver. At least Hard Gold and Soul Silver are actually complete games that even Ilka couldn't mess up, but I would love to see them prove me wrong. What did my viewers expect from me this year? Well, it's hard to say there were any expectations. I only hit 400 subs this year, so expectations are probably still low which at least means I can hit them. At least, I hope I am. Once again, my biggest milestone of 2021 was my Grungy Boy animation hitting 400 views. In January, it skyrocketed to 1,000 views. It's now my most viewed video, doubling the one in second place. But if we were to ask what my biggest milestone of this year is, it would be that I got to celebrate my first anniversary on YouTube. Even though I don't make any money from these videos, I still enjoy doing YouTube, and I plan on continuing this crazy train. And so with that, we have covered not only this year's Wants to Battle tag, but have looked back at last year's tag. I hope you wonderful people enjoyed the video, and hopefully you'll stick around for next year. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of stuff I'm excited to do. Take the last few months as an example of the minimum of what I want to do, or at least hope to do. I'm improving with each upload. I genuinely enjoy doing YouTube. It can be frustrating at times, especially with recording. In case you haven't noticed by now, I do have trouble speaking. Even though I went through speech therapy as a kid, it tends to come back and bite me. Luckily, I am learning what gives me trouble. That way I can make scripts I can more or less say. But even so, I hope me captioning every video helps. Anyways, it's time to wrap up. So for those of you watching me for the first time, it's time I end this video by saying, have a nice day you wonderful people. Sup?